Many students find standard algorithms for long division hard to understand, and when they try the scaffold method, they feel more comfortable, especially when they use convenient chunks, instead of looking for the most efficient partial portion. Hi students, today we're going to be learning about scaffold methods. So for problem one, we have 346 cookies we want to make into packages for the students. If we put two cookies in each package, how many packages can we make? Do we have any cookies left over? So in order to begin, we know that we have 346 cookies in total, which we divide that with two cookies which is how many cookies can go in each package. So, how many groups of two can go into 346? Well, 100. Why? Because 100 times 2 equal, equals 200. So, 346 minus 200 equals 146. Now, how many packages of two cookies can go into 146? Well, 50. Why? Because 50 times 2 equals 100. 146 minus 100 equals 46 cookies. Now, how many cookies could go into 46? Well, 20. 20 times 2 equals 40. 46 minus 40 equals 6 cookies. How many cookies can we now make into 6, which is 3? 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. 0 is how many cookies we have left over. Now we add the total number, number of packages. So 100 plus 50 plus 20 plus 3, which equals 173. So our answer is that we can make 173 bags of two cookies with zero cookies left over. Okay students, so for problem two, Molly collected 655 marbles. She wants to put the marbles into groups of four. How many groups of marbles can she have? Does she have any marbles left over? So 655 total marbles, we divide that by four, which is the number of marbles that can be in a group. So now we need to find, out, figure out how many groups of four can we can go into 655, which is 100. Why? Because 100 times four equals 400. So 655 minus 400 equals 245. So now we need to ask ourselves, how many groups of four marbles can go into 245, which is 50. 50 times four equals 200. So we subtract 245 minus 200, which equals 45 marbles. Now, how many groups of four can go into 45? Well, 11. Why? Because 11 times four equals 44. So 45 minus 44 equals 1. 1 is the total marbles that are left over from 655. So in order to find out how many groups we can make, we add the groups on top, which is 100 plus 50 plus 11, which gives us a total of 161. So in conclusion, Molly can make 161 groups of 4 mar marbles with 1 marble left over. So for problem three, the factory that makes the chocolate candy has 8,325 pieces of candy. They want to make packages with five pieces of candy in each package. How many packages can they make? Do they have any pieces left over? So 8,325 candies divided by five pieces of candy in each package. In this problem, we're going to start off with thousands instead of hundreds. 
So how many groups of thousands can we make a five to get close to 8,325? Which the answer is 1,000. Why? Because 1,000 times five equals 5,000. So 8,325 minus 5,000 would give us 3,325 candies left over. Next, we figure out how many groups of fives can we make out of 100 to get as close to 3,325, which would be 600. Why? Because 600 times 5 equals 3,000. So 3,325 minus 3,000 would give us 325 pieces left over. Next, how many packages can we make out of tens to get 325? Well, which would be 60 because 60 times 5 equals 300. 325 minus 300 would give us 25 pieces of candies left. Now, how many packages can we make out of 5 candies to get 25? Well, 5. Why? Because 5 times 5 equals 25. 25 minus 25 is 0. So we have 0 candies left over. Now, we add all the packages together, which is 1,000 plus 600 plus 60 plus 5 which would give us a total of 1,665 packages. So the factory can make 1,665 bags of five candies in each one with zero candies left over. Okay, this is problem four. There are 2,286 Skittles that need to be divided among 20 Ziploc bags. How many Skittles will each bag contain and how many will be left over? So first, we need to set up the problem. So we have the 2,286 Skittles. And then we have to divide that among the 20 Ziploc bags. So since we're doing the scaffolding method, we're going to ask ourselves how many hundreds of 20s are in 2,286. There are 100 because 100 times 20 equals 2,000. So, we're going to take, we're going to write the 100 on the top, and then we're going to take the 2,000 and subtract it from the amount of Skittles, which is 2,286 Skittles. So, our answer comes out to 286. We then ask ourselves, how many 20s are in two, 286? And the answer is 10, because 10 times 20 equals 200. So then we continue to do the same thing. We write the 10 on the top, and then we take the 200 and subtract it from the 286. And our result is 86. So then we ask ourselves, how many 20s? If we have 86, how many 20s are in 86? And the answer is four, because four times 20 equals 80. So continuing that same pattern, we're gonna write the four on the top, and then we're going to take the 80 and subtract it from the 86. After we do that, we get 6, and that is our remainder because 20 cannot go into 6. So then we take the three numbers at the top and add them, and we get 114 because 100 plus 10 plus 4 equals 114. So then, in conclusion, there will be 114 Skittles in each bag with six Skittles left over. Problem five. There are 1,105 bottle cups in Peter's bottle cup collection. If the bottle cups are organized into 13 groups, how big it is each group? Well, this is our problem. Now, we're going to start the fun. Okay, we have 1,105 bottle cups in total. This amount we're going to divide it into 13. 
which is the toral groups. Okay? First thing we're going to ask ourselves, how many 13s are in 1,105? Mm, the answer is, there are 50. Okay. There are 50, then we're going to call call number 50 as a as an our first partial quotient and 13 times 50 equals 650 this amount we're going to subtract subtract it from 1105 and the result is going to be 455, which are the amount of bottles that remain left. Next, we're going to ask ourselves, how many 13s are in 445? The answer is, there are 30. Good. We're going to call the number 30 as our second uh, partial quotient and 13 times 30 equals 390 and 390 we're gonna subtract it from 455 and the result is gonna be 65 65 is the amount of bottle cups that are left. Okay. The next question is how many 13s are in 65? The answer is there are five. Okay. We are going to call number five as our third partial quotient. Good. Okay. As we know, 13 times 5 equals 65. This, um, this amount, we're going to subtract it from the previous amount, that is 65. So 65 minus 65 equals 0. Yeah, 0 is the left over. Now, we're going to add the, our three partial quotients which is 5 plus 30 plus 50. And the result is going to be 85. Well, now we can say that each group has 85 bottle cups. Okay, this is the result of our problem. Thank you.